Hey everyone, it's Mona here at Crab Clutch, and today is Friday. That means it is another Coaster Friday. Today we're going to have some fun with alcohol inks. For the first layer of this coaster, I want to use the fast curing resin just for convenience, and that cures white or off-white, but I don't want the back to be white. So I'm going to just take some pigment powder. I'm just going to do a purple. I have no specific color scheme in mind yet, and I'm just going to paint my mold. And this is just powder. You just need a thin layer. Get it all over there and you can leave the excess in there, does not matter. So I have the one ounce mix, I'm gonna pour it right into my mold and I'm just gonna let it sit and cure. And it goes pretty quickly. The resin has cured, now I'm gonna break out my alcohol inks. I have a pink, a blue, and a green. And then I also have a little gold and white. And the resin didn't cure pure white, but that doesn't make any difference to me at all. And basically, I'm just playing around with it. And I'm just going to let it blend. The white will lighten it up a little bit, and then I'll add a little bit of gold for interest. See, that will blend into there as well. I'm going to just move this all around a little bit. Now we're going to just let this dry and when it's dry we will come back and add a layer of clear resin. I'm going to pull this one out. The ink has dried and then here is the back where I had the pigment powder. That's how it stuck to the back of the coaster. And here's the front. Now all we have to do is put a layer on top and we'll have a pretty cool coaster I think. I like the way it looks already but we need to protect that alcohol ink and hopefully it'll give it a little more depth. So I've mixed my resin and it'll take probably a little bit less than an ounce to cover this and I'm gonna just push it to the edges. And we have that little lip so it won't go over unless you overfill it. Then I'm gonna take my lighter, pop the bubbles, And I will come back, do that a couple more times, and then I will let this sit a minimum of 12 hours before I touch it. Here's the alcohol ink coaster all cured. It looks pretty nice. The resin gave it some nice depth. It has a little bit of a galaxy feel to it. Here is the side. The only thing I might have done different is I might have gone darker with this, but I, it doesn't bother me the way it is either. Be sure to let me know what you think of this coaster down in the comments below. All we're really doing is using resin as a canvas for our alcohol ink art. I hope you guys like the alcohol ink coasters and I hope you give them a try. I will definitely see you next time. 
Remember, life is too short not to shimmer, so grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe. Bye, guys.